This video is in hydrology unit and looking at river systems and particularly looking at the stream order. The order of streams and how they come together to form one unified river system within a certain drainage basin or watershed or catchment area. So this video is all on stream order and looking at the river as a whole. This is the Earth Science Classroom. So technically, a river is just a very large stream which has a large discharge of water flow going through it, which is feet or meters per second. Now this is based on the cross-sectional width of the channel and the mean velocity of the water. But streams are broken into different sizes, different classifications, and we call this the stream order. Now the river itself has four distinct different orders of streams culminating in the end result of a large river flowing down the channel down towards a lake or the ocean or sea level now the first order stream is the small brook or creek or small channel of water that is overland flow and will flow downhill with gravity down the certain relief or topography or landscape downhill using the easiest and quickest route or route down to a lower elevation. Now the first order stream then connects with other first order streams to make a larger channel. This is called a confluence. Now after the confluence of the first order stream or streams in plural you will get the creation of a larger stream with more water flowing through it, the channel, which is called the second order stream. Now, this happens usually, usually at a lower elevation than the first order stream, and we know it's a first order stream because of there's no other streams above it in high elevation feeding that first order stream. So it is the first or initial part of water. Then the second stream continues downhill to another confluence where it will become the third order stream. Now the third order stream is a larger stream slash river based on where it is, how much water is in the system and the catchment area. And then finally it will come it will join up with other second or third order streams and turn into a fourth order stream. Now the fourth order stream is usually at a lower elevation whereby the there's no more additions of extra tributaries that are going to add into the river and it's going to flow down and hit either the lake or it's going to hit the ocean at sea level. So the fourth order stream or classification is the final part or piece of the puzzle where the river is the maximum channel, perhaps it's meandering out to a river delta, and it's going to end up at the ocean. So what happens from nature, and what you see in this diagram, is that there are multiple drainage basins or catchment areas or watersheds all over the Earth's surface, the relief and topography, and based on the elevation of certain areas, you'll get the high areas and low areas, you'll get these separated watersheds or drainage basins by larger high elevation relief or the earth surface which is higher up and you'll get the rainfall the meteoric rainfall the precipitation that's going to fall down and fall into one of these different drainage basins now the watershed or drainage basin divide is what's going to separate the different watersheds from each other and create separate stream orders in corresponding rivers either side of the high elevation Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you'd like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.